With the party season fast approaching, we're probably already organising designated drivers for night out. But did you know you could be well over the limit the morning after? We're here with Hunter Abbott from Alpha Centre to talk about consumer breathalysers. So do we sort of know the scale of the problem when it comes to still being over the limit the morning after? What we do know is there's one in five prosecutions happen the morning after. And what's quite shocking is that it's generally when the police aren't actually looking for drink drivers. It's when someone gets stopped for an ancillary crime, so maybe speeding, etc. Um, we did a survey about two or three years ago where we questioned a thousand motorists and uh, asked them if you drank X or Y between these two hours, at what time the following day would you feel happy to drive? And it came back 51% of those uh, motorists actually got the question wrong and would drive too early, i.e. when they sell alcohol in the system and be over the limit. So it actually shows that potentially the problem is much larger than it appears and could be affecting as many as one in two motorists. Is that something the police do, do you think? Do you think they look at the morning after because they know there's going to be a lot of people who still has it at that time? More and more, yes. Um, to be honest, before 2007, um, there wasn't much knowledge about morning after. Uh, we did a lot of research into, into the risks of morning after drink driving and uh, Alcosense launched at that point and did a lot of PR based around it. Since then, it's been more and more of an issue, um, which has been publicised, which is great. It raises awareness and helps make those roads safer. So what, what's the importance of testing the morning after? How, how likely is it that people are going to be over the limit? Depending on the person, it can be very likely. Um, I mean, the, the widely accepted uh, average is processing a one unit per hour. So for example, if you had four pints of beer in one evening and drank a, say, three unit pint, three units of alcohol per pint, um, you're looking at around 12 to 14 hours until the alcohol is cleared from your system. So if you finish drinking at midnight, you could still easily be over the limit at 11 o'clock the next day. Um, so it's actually relatively easy to have that happen, as I think you guys experienced yourselves. To get an idea of just how easy it is to find yourself over the legal limit the next morning, we decided to conduct a little experiment. Basically, I drank 18 units of alcohol over a four hour period, followed by seven hours of sleep. So, was it safe to drive at 7 a.m.? Take a look. It's seven o'clock, at the time I'd normally be getting up for work. Um, let's see if I'm safe to drive. Nope, it's still high. It's now eight o'clock, I've had another hour in bed. Let's see if I'm safe to drive yet. Ooh, no, still over twice the legal limit. It's now nine o'clock, I've had another hour in bed, so let's see if we're fit to drive it. Nope, still over the limit. It's now 11 o'clock, just about 11 hours since I stopped drinking, so let's see if I'm legal to drive. Yep, well below the limit. It went down quite quickly in that last hour, but it still took a lot longer than I expected. So these aren't designed for people to sort of, on a night out, you maybe have a couple of pints and go, right, am I over the limit? I'm safe to get in the car. They're designed for the morning after, really. Yeah. Any amount of alcohol in your system will affect your ability to drive. One pint or less will even affect your ability. The safest time is to always use a breathalyzer the morning after, because at that point, it's responsible. If you do have a couple of pints, get a taxi home. But the next day, it's very difficult to tell precisely when the alcohol is cleared from your system, and that's where AlcoSense will help you.